So you can see here I have a Keynote file. If I right click and select Get Info, you can see it's very large, 227 megabytes. I need to try and convert this to a PDF and reduce its size. So the first thing that I'm going to try and do is come to File and Advanced and I'm going to reduce the file size. It's going to process for a little while and then it's going to tell me how much space I saved by reducing the file size. And just wait for it. It says it reduced the file size by about 48 megabytes, or it will if I click this button. So I'm going to try that and save it. Now if I close this window and we have a look at the file again, you can see I'm down to 167 megabytes. It's quite a significant reduction. Next up, we're going to convert it to a PDF. I want to try and retain as much information as possible. So I go to File and Export and PDF and here I'm going to choose the best quality. When I press Next, I am going to take out the original from the front and save it to my desktop as portfolio. We'll wait for that to convert and then we should see the file on the desktop of my computer. You can see here's the file and again if we go to get info we can see it's slightly reduced in size. The keynote was 167 megabytes and you can see that the PDF is 131 megabytes. So now we have to play with that PDF. So I'm going to quit Keynote and I'm going to open this up in Adobe Acrobat Pro. <clears throat> in Adobe Acrobat Pro, I can optimize my PDF. If I go to File, Save As, I don't want to reduce. If I click on Optimize, I have some control over my PDF. You can see here are some parameters that we can tweak. So I'm going to first try without compression or retaining the existing compression on all of the types of images, color images, gray images, and monochrome images. And I might bump this up to 300 DPI because we want the highest DPI that is under our 20 megabyte allowance. So if I try that, I'm going to call it 300 DPI. And we'll export that again to the desktop. What that's doing is reducing how many decibels, uh, decibels, how many uh, dots per square inch of each photo that is in this PDF. So we have 300 dots per square inch on every single photo that is in this PDF. If I come here to get info, I can see I'm getting much closer to my 20 megabyte allowance, but I'm not quite there yet. Another thing I could do is try it again, but reduce the DPI. So if I optimize and instead of 300 DPI, I could try 200 DPI. And let's call it 200 DPI so we don't get confused and we'll wait for it to process. Obviously you want the most information that you can get into your images without with sticking within the size limit. So you can see here it's slightly reduced it again, but we still haven't hit that 200 megabyte size limit. So what I might try next is I might try and ask it to convert each image to a JPEG. Now what a JPEG does is it compresses the image. So you lose a little bit of information, but it reduces the size of the actual image. 
You can see here for the monochrome images, I don't think I have any monochrome images, so I'm just going to keep it on retain existing. Let's try it with the maximum quality for the JPEG and let's see how that turns out. We'll call it 200 DPI JPEG max and let's see if we can make it. You can see we're under 20 megabytes now. If we look at the document, this is the actual document, 200 DPI JPEG max. And if we look closely, it seems okay and we're under our size limit. You can continue that process over and over and over until you get your file size correct. I would make small changes to it at first, retain the, uh, don't compress the images, that's what I did here, and reduced it to 300 dpi, and then I tried 200 dpi without compressing the images, and then I tried 200 dpi with JPEG with max quality, and I was able to create my PDF that is the closest to 20 megabytes that I could get with the highest quality for that size. Okay, thank you.